Under the leadership of Dr. Judith Gasson, the center has established an international reputation for developing new cancer therapies and training the next generation of medical researchers. Cancer patients are sick now. They need better treatments now. The 50% of cancer patients who don't respond to traditional surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy need new molecules that will actually rid them of their cancer, and that needs to happen now. The basis for the center's acclaim originates in its pioneering approach in formulating revolutionary targeted cancer therapies. Our 240 physicians and scientists have played key roles in the FDA approval of some of the most significant targeted therapies in the last decade. These targeted therapies can distinguish between the tumor cells and the normal healthy cells. And we hope that not only will they be more effective in treating the cancer, but will also improve the quality of life for the patient and of course for their family. Although great strides have been made over the last few decades, the fight against cancer has grown increasingly complex. When I began my career as a medical oncologist 30 years ago, only about 35% of individuals who we diagnosed with cancer could expect to survive for five years or more. Now, more than 65% of individuals diagnosed with cancer enjoy good quality survival. Cancer research now is really much more complicated and we need the collaboration of people who are engineers and basic scientists in biology and people who do animal models and uh, geneticists and computer programmers um, and clinical trialists. We've tried to put together programs in which people with these different skills then pool their expertise to attack a problem that we haven't been able to address before. The focus of the center's vast research effort is based on a groundbreaking new theory known as translational research. You can ask questions in the laboratory that you can never ask in the clinic. Translational research is the ability to take new information out of the laboratory and apply it as quickly as possible to the clinical setting. The immediate benefit will be that we will have more effective therapies and do have more effective therapies that are less toxic. And these therapies are able to distinguish between the cancer cells and the normal healthy cells of the body. We hope that they'll not only be more effective, but they'll be less toxic and help to improve the lives of cancer patients everywhere. The future is much brighter. We have more than 10 million cancer survivors in this country now, and we're hopefully contributing every day to creating more of those cancer survivors here at UCLA's Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center. Breakthroughs like translational research are paving the way for future cancer therapies and are providing hope for millions of patients who benefit directly from these advances. I was the first woman in the country to receive Perceptin. My mother died of breast cancer at the age of 62. I, re I got breast cancer at the age of 38. My sister had breast cancer, and I've got three little girls. And I feel very fortunate today to be here because of Herceptin. There's more than just hope. There is the, the real possibility that you, who've been diagnosed with cancer, will be cured, and not just make you better, but to give you back your quality of life, maybe even better than you've ever had it before because that's what happened to me. The Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center researchers now stand poised to make even more dramatic breakthroughs, demonstrating that the end of cancer begins with research.